here at Pixar Animation Studios. What a fun environment <laughs> to be in. Um, now, how did the how did you become attached to the film as a director? Mm. Yeah, I had uh, worked in the story department for years um, on movies like Cars and Toy Story 3 and had an opportunity to work with John Lasseter and Leon Critch and I also made a film, a uh, live action film on my own over the course of six years on the weekends and I think that uh, uh, you know, j people like John and Lee having seen that and, and, and worked with me felt comfortable giving yeah. me a shot on this film and, um, and uh, yeah. And then, Corey, you worked on the yeah. first one, Monsters, Inc. I did. And what was it like transitioning uh, into, the, into the sequel? Yeah, it was really great. Uh, you know, as soon as I heard that we were thinking about making another film set in the monster world, I, I totally wanted to, to go for it and threw my hat in the ring uh, to produce it. So uh, it's been great. I love, this. I love these characters and the world. <laughs> now, in the behind the scenes on the Blu-ray and DVD, we're finding out that Dean um, Hartscrabble was actually supposed to be a male mm -hmm. and then transition to a female. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great character. She is. Um, what was the process like um, in, in coming to terms with we have to change this person in order to be different? Yeah, yeah I mean it was really just a choice that, that uh, we really are always looking for ways to open up the world when we do a sequel and at some point I realized wow we're really missing an opportunity to see a great female scare in mm -hmm. this story. And, and the Dean would be amazing because she's one of the best ever. And so um, uh, luckily Corey was really um, open to it because it was so late in the process yeah. and it, it's not yeah. easy to do. And didn't bat an eye and just said absolutely. And, um, and the whole team uh, yeah. really was in, inspired to do it. But it was right. a lot of hard work and, and it really meant finding the design of her character, which was which is not easy to find a nice um, combination of elegance and, and terrifying. <laughs> And here at Pixar Animation, they promote from within. Mm -hmm. So what's the competition yeah. like here amongst everyone? Yeah, that's so funny. It's yeah. weirdly it's not, not that competitive, not, no. uh, you know? It's not, not, not really. I mean, it's, you know, it's, um, everybody works really hard and, and you kind of, um, everyone's uh, got their sights set on, on what they want to do. And um, it's just such a supportive environment that if, if you really want something, you're really going to be supported in that journey. And, and uh, so it's, it's been pretty great, and there, there isn't a whole lot of competition. Yeah. You know, Hel a healthy competition, but nothing negative, nothing bad. Yeah. From what I'm hearing from everybody, everybody has projects on the side on the weekends. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So people are working 24 7 here yeah. as artists. <laughs> and I think that's great. It is great. I, 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 I love seeing that kind of passion. I think that's what uh, a yeah. lot of people end up at Pixar is because of that. Yeah. They're just those people that would be making things whether they were paid to do it or not. Yeah. They love it, it's what they do. And, and so, yeah, I think you'll see a lot of that here. <laughs>